not even add the conspiracy of the, the AIDS virus. An AIDS virus that is a classic disease that was created in Fort McKinley, United States. Fort McKinley, the AIDS virus, 63,000 gallons, a designer, a, a, a designer disease was created, 63,000 gallons of it in Fort McKinley, and designated for Africa and designated for other places in the world in order to meet what was called the UN World Health Organization mandate called Population 2000. How many people ever heard of that? Population 2000 was that by the year 2000, the UN World Health Organization had the mandate to bring the population of the world down by 36 million. To do what? To protect Western civilization, because the greatest threat to Western civilization at that time, in 1971, was the threat of overpopulation of India, Pakistan, Far East Asia, Africa, South America. Now, for Africa, they chose AIDS. For China, they chose one child for one family. And if you don't want to know what that means, Somebody needs to visit China and understand what that means. One child per family, what that means. It means that any body in China that has a second child, they are arrested, the woman has a hysterectomy, the man has a vasectomy, they are put in jail as an example, and that child that they had, the second one, the pregnancy, is aborted, one child. That's the law in China. Who made that law? The Chinese through the World Health Organization. I don't have to tell the people from India and Pakistan about the birth control that they, have, that, that they have adopted in India. I don't have to tell anybody about that. But the AIDS virus is killing right now. If you want to know, the AIDS virus is killing 8.7 million people per year. Now you add that up per month, or you add it up per week. 52 into 8 million. That'll tell you how many people a week are dying in Africa by the AIDS virus, which is a conspiracy. Go on the internet and put in your Google into your search engine, put in there AIDS virus and put in there smoking gun of AIDS and see the evidence in the documents, you will be shocked. But most of us, we think that AIDS is in Africa because those are dirty people. They're sexually perversive. They're dirty people. Or we think it came from green monkeys. No. Missionaries from the World Health Organization and Christian, and Christian groups went into Africa and inoculated people for diphtheria, malaria, yellow fever, and they put in the medicine the AIDS virus. Now is that diabolical or isn't it? Well, it's the truth. And the smoking gun of AIDS came out in 1996 because in America we have something called the Freedom of Information Act, which means every 25 years, what they do that we don't know about, they have to reveal it after 25 years. Now we know about it. This is what Khalid said, but people who study it know it very well.